Hi, I'm Mindy Householder, and I'm a fossil preparator on Dakota the Dino Mummy. I have been working on Dakota for about four years, and about maybe 5,000 hours. In this video, we'll be talking about the removal of the crocodile. First, we need to remove the rock from on top of Dakota's calf. We need to cut around the base of the hand. in order to remove and flip the hand. We apply a synthetic fabric on the back of the hand in order to provide more support for the bone. In order to stick the fabric down, we need to apply a reversible adhesive called Paraloid B72. Soaking the fabric in the B72 makes the fabric rigid and more supportive for the bone. We use the brush to make sure there's no air holes in the fabric so that there's no gaps. Now I'm applying a thicker utility fabric to provide even more support for the bone. It must be many layers deep in order to provide the appropriate amount of support. And now we must use hand tools to saw the rock in between the crocodile hand and the calf of Dakota. First, we use the Japanese pool saw to get underneath the specimen. We use the cord saw to get under the many hard to reach areas. We tried to use a larger hacksaw, but that was too bulky to actually get underneath the specimen and then a smaller coping saw, which also was not able to really get under there. Sawing for hours can be really hard on the hands, so using gloves is always preferred. We're using the keyhole saw and it's getting so close, it's wiggling. <laughs> and voila, it flipped. Once the hand is removed from the block, a supportive cradle must be made to help stabilize the specimen. To accomplish that, we have to make a plaster mother mold to further support the specimen. Additionally, we use clay to act as a separator for when we eventually add ethophone to provide more cushion. We use Legos as a boundary to keep the plaster from pouring everywhere. Okay, we add saran wrap so that the plaster does not stick to the actual specimen. And then we pour in the plaster and we let it dry. We remove the plaster from the Legos. And then we remove the specimen from the clay, the saran wrap, and the plaster. At the foam lining is added to the plaster to provide more support and cushion for the specimen while it's being prepared. And then the result is this.